How we doing? So today, uh, I'm gonna do Red Faction, and I'm a big fan of uh, the Saints Row series, and I can't wait for the next DLC, Johnny Goes to Hell, which is kind of awesome because you can finally play as uh, Johnny Gat. So that's gonna be interesting, and I'm hoping that we come to hopefully there'll be more Saint Row games because I mean the way I mean technically four I mean it was. It was not one of my favorite ones. It was not really good. I mean, it was okay, but superpowers and flying and aliens. What happened to just uh, good old gang, you know, gangs fighting each other now? It's aliens. I mean, it, it was okay, but it wasn't my favorite. And I bought it the first day it came out. And it, eh, that's a funny day, too, but I'm not going to explain that. So, this is another system done by Valera, or whatever, whatever the company's called, Volation, by Volation, sorry, and it's good, I mean, you know, let's just get started, first one, Red Faction, I played this a while, while back ago, and, and I was like, it was, I couldn't figure it out, I had to play it, and so I had it for a while, I did not play it. And then one day, I guess I was bored, and I just, you know, played it, and I was like, I was just playing it, playing it, playing it, and I beat it, and it took me like, um, like two or three weeks, I don't know, because I was just, it was, it's, it's really good, I mean, it's not, it's a great PSD, in my opinion, this is the best, the best one, the Faction 1 is the best one, but the rest of them are like, okay, but, eh. This was a great one. I do believe this is a great one. Next, Red Faction 2, which is, I mean, it's okay. It's, I mean, it wasn't really as good as the first one, but, you know, it, it kind of went, eh, it kind of sold it out. I mean, boss fights were kind of easy and, and you know, kind of interesting. Still, it was like a first person shooter, but it was still good. So, it's this little manual. Believe me. See, I just go on YouTube <laughs> and you know figure out how like if you people always say go don't you got don't you like the manuals show the whole thing like yeah it's true but you know I can just go online and watch the manual and then you know go over it and, and do stuff like that because you know it makes it a little easier and it's a little cheaper actually I mean I mean I don't think like what manuals like what eleven or, I don't know how much they are but uh, it was okay. But it wasn't, it wasn't really that good. Next, Red Faction Gorilla, which probably, uh, it, in my opinion, it was like a lot of, you know, land, and, you know, you had to get a lot of land in it. I mean, I love that, that you could destroy a lot of this, like, you could go in there and destroy everything. I mean, it made it really, really fun. So, you know, if you're really, you know, in a bad mood, you can go play this and, you know, just start beating up the stuff, throwing the, throwing the grenades at it, throwing rockets, and, you know, just shoot with your slam hammer and one, boom, and, you know, breaking it all up. And then, yeah, if you're, if you're not, if you had, like, a rough day, play this game if you're, if you had a bad day because, you know, you can go piss off and you can, you can go break stuff and destroy buildings, you know, and release, release anger. I mean, don't go out and do something crazy. You can go play this, and you can destroy stuff. And, hey, it's a good game. I mean, yeah, it's pretty good. Game. No manual, though, but you know, this, is what this looks like. You know, the back art, the back cover. Next. Last one. Red Faction Armageddon, which continues the story of the, Ma the Mason family. And, yeah. Uh, I never played this one. I really <laughs> never played it. I, I still haven't played it. I have so many games I haven't played. I just wanted to buy it and you know, complete the, you know, the collection. I beat one, so I played these three. And not beat this one. I mean, I, I mean, I watched like game uh, review I and mean, walkthroughs of it, and it seems pretty good. And um, it's a code for you can, same row. We got same row code. Uh, uh, it's probably expired, I don't know. Or, oh, sorry, wrong side, sorry. And then we got some more, you know, stuff. I don't know what this is. 
And all, all this stuff expires. It's like just different cards and you know, all that. And stuff like that. And then, actually, the one that actually comes with the manual. You know, that's the thing. Monster, you see what the monster looks like. Character. And it gets people. Game how. If you picture it, in my opinion, the, the St. Rose series and the Red Faction series, they kind of like go with each other in a, in a way. Because if you if you play some of the St. Rose games, I mean, they, they, there's like references and like Old Tour and, and number two, where they have the Old Tour building and the symbol. And there's like stuff in like one, and it has the Old Tour symbol. And you can see it on there. So I think, you know, in my opinion, uh, then it, maybe it's just because it's the same company or like Easter egg stuff, but uh, it's like the same. I mean, same, uh, these I mean, Red Faction, the first few, two Red Factions came out before St. Row, the first one, so so maybe. I don't know, it's just, you know, I think in my opinion they both go with each other, so here's the collection. Yeah, here's the Red Faction, not in order, but the Red Faction. It's a great series, I like it, you know. Uh, I guess I, I'm pretty sure it's done. I don't know if they ever do any more. Uh, but you know, thank you, thank you for watching. Subscribe. Bye.